Hello and welcome to the final stage of First Flight, Stage 7, where we are racing for the Aston Martin Valkyrie. This one gets challenging. I tried a few different upgrade strategies and I decided, you know what? I'm going to do all of the R dollar upgrades because every time you do an upgrade, you've got to relearn the track a little bit, relearn the car a little bit. And I tried three or four and I was still having trouble. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do all of them and then learn the car this way. And that makes it so the event is still enjoyable. And I still think it was barely enough. Um, there's probably going to be a few people who can do this for a little bit cheaper, but you know, just watch this right here. I'm going on the far right because I need to increase the track length and you're going to see it's not all that easy to hit speed. I don't have enough time to slow down properly, so that's why I had to throw the car sideways. Now, the other option with this particular event was to drive backwards for a long time so you could get negative laps, okay, because coming up there is another section you could hit speed. And, and you hear me saying this at every single track, you need to learn where actual off-track limits are. By the way, watch this. You notice how that was full throttle? There are very few cars you can do that in. So, actual off-track limits. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. Let those guys get ahead of me for a little bit because I need to set up a big speed run. And you're going to see me go to an area that you're going to think is off track if you don't know about this. It's not. You could do this during a time trial. That's not off track. Now, I might have cut that razor close there. I might have been off track for a, oh, not even a tenth, like one one hundredth of a second there. But, so there I can hit speed nicely without having to do any acrobatic braking maneuvers. So I could go backwards and repeat that again, go backwards and repeat that again, or get a little bit of draft off this guy, off, oh sorry, this is Zoe. Get some draft here, and I can do a proper stop this time. So only had to do acrobatics once. You could do this with a pinch less upgrades if you did what I was saying using that other section for your speed run, however, I did tests. I went forward in this day just to see, does it get even harder? And that's why I made the decision to add all of these upgrades. Sometimes I do that. I'll skip ahead in a particular stage just to see if it's going to get really hard later on. If I have to have upgrades for, let's say, race three of stage seven, there's no use for me fighting this stage, right? And once I figure that out, I do a restore. I buy the upgrades I need and get it done. So here we go, that's how I did race 7.1. Works really good for me with the uh, PR level that I've got. And I'm gonna be adding up all of these totals here and I'm gonna show you what my total earnings were for this whole event at the end of this video. This one also is kind of difficult. You really have to push pretty hard to get this done. Now this is the outlap, it doesn't count. You could take it easy. Um, there's no requirement to win this race as far as your placement on the track is, but as soon as you set the fastest time, you're in first place. So don't bother messing around with that. Unless you want to have, like sometimes what I would do is really set up a lap where I'm not gonna be encountering any traffic. But the other way to look at this is, if you can be encountering traffic at the right times, you could draft off them. Doing that will make you faster, which should drop your lap time. The only downside is, what if you encounter the bots in a stupid place? Like, well, this isn't too bad, but watch, you gotta really watch this corner because, like, look at that pass. That is dangerous. Where I was just passing him, that's crazy dangerous. Okay, now you need to be thinking about your next lap. Set up a massive speed run here. You wanna hit this line with a ridiculous amount of speed. And if you want to, See, I could actually cut. I could have cut that corner a little bit and shaved a tiny bit of time. Again, you have a full, a full second of off track that they're giving you. Um, it seems like everywhere. So if you want to, you could spend that. However, either way, you can take corner one flat out. So whether you go off track a little bit or not, going off track would save you a very small amount of, of uh, time there because it's a full throttle section. 
That breaking point there, man, that's a rough one. It's really hard to optimize that. Here, you can take this pretty crazy aggressive in this car. I'm not, well, that's pretty optimized, honestly. And then this, I just can't believe I can take this full throttle. Watch on the left, there's a wall that ends. I start my turn right after that, and then I'm braking right where the track narrows, just after the sand is ending. And again, don't go too far over, but I can, I just tap the brakes there. There, that was great. I can catch a bit of draft and boom, I'm, I'm in position one. Okay, two more laps. Let's go four times regular speed. That's gonna take too long. 16 times regular speed. We are warping at an insane rate that the Valkyrie could never travel, but it looks cool. Okay, that was two laps, guys. I didn't want to drag that all out for you. There we go. You can see I beat Ahmed by quite a lot. And lots of drama here. Man, Magnus has attitude. Like, you can see why I kind of have picked on him through the years. <laughs> Anyways, kind of fun. This next one, this one is tough. Um, it took me a few tries to get this one dialed in. You have to go, you go a long ways without seeing anybody. So you can see, I failed this several times. You go a long ways. You gotta get by Michael here. Sorry, you gotta get by Ahmed here extremely quickly without getting tangled up. And then you're going to have, oh, one and a half laps of nobody. And you've gotta drive this like, well, like you're going for a group A time and a weekly time trial. I mean, you gotta go not necessarily that fast, but high group B. That's about what you need to be driving this at with only our upgrades like I've got, all once. That's what I found. So you gotta take this flat out. Now watch, just as it narrows, I'm on the brakes, into the turn, onto the throttle now. And then I'm gonna watch my, my cutting here. I'm gonna cut this knot, not as much. I don't need the huge speed run here, so I can save a little bit of time by not swinging as far out. And I'm just gonna take it really carefully. I might have been a skosh off track there, but I don't think so. You only need one tire on track in this game. So sometimes you can cut a corner aggressively, and as long as one of your tires is on track at all times, it'll count. Now, watch on your left. Uh, not this sign, next sign. I'm braking, not this one, this one right here. I'm braking just, mm, let's say two car lengths before that, maybe only one. But I'm definitely not braking at the sign. I'm braking a little bit before it. Then we take this corner full throttle, and then on our right, um, braking kind of halfway into that, into the curbs on my left. Full throttle all through that. Full throttle through the next corner. And then there's that narrowing section. I'm on the brakes just when it starts to narrow. I tell you, this car is quite the rush. So, I I don't know how many attempts I did on this one. I think it was about five. And so I've been watching my distances. Here, I get to start to see my distances a little bit more. Like you can see, this feels really lonely. But there's a new challenge coming up very soon, and that is a whole bunch of stacked up cars that you have to get by as fast as possible. So we're gonna watch this again far to the left because I'm shaving time. And that last billboard, it's not the overhead one. This one here, I'm braking just before it, far to my left. Start turning earlier than you think onto the gas. Okay, so here I'm happy. I will be catching him very fast. You're gonna see that. It's surprising how quickly I will catch him, especially through this section here. Full throttle, full throttle. Very quickly, you'll see how fast I gain. 300 and some meters back, and suddenly, look at that. Make up so much time. Okay, so now is where we have one lap to pass basically seven cars, and there's a gaggle of them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can cut time at Hockenheim Ring, right here. See that? All that on my right is on track. So only when I was on the grass was I actually off track. So it looks like I was off track for a lot. I was only off track for just a fraction of a second. I still have more I could spend. I will not. I will be very careful because there's the next two cars in front of me. Now these guys have insane straightaway speed, but braking and acceleration, not so much. Sorry, 
Breaking and cornering, not so much. That's a veneno, so that's going to be extremely fast. You know what though? That veneno, that is honestly one of the most disappointing cars in this game. Um, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing car, but it's insanely expensive to upgrade. It's one of the most expensive cars in the game, but its performance is not there. FXXK Evo, awesome car. Woo hoo hoo, gotta be careful. Because all of these stages are no damage stages. You can get away with a little bit of contact, but not very much. Okay, well, I can take it easy here. Uh, I don't want to blow everything I've done, but I'm comfortably in seventh place. One more race to go. And I'm going to tell you, they didn't make it easy. So, notice the speed we have to cross the line at. Now, you might want to switch to miles per hour because it's easier to keep your eyes on it. I'm not. But... Remember that trick I was showing you on that last turn, how you go way outside? You need to do that now. You need to widen that corner as much as possible so you have enough speed when you're crossing the line. Now, you know what's incredibly frustrating? You get to the end of this race, you're in first place, and you forget that you have to cross the finish line going over 183 miles an hour or 294.51. I did that, and I was so frustrated because I forgot that I need to push it. And then I had another attempt, got nicely in first place, and lost it on the last corner. I did not have enough time to go back and do another run because Tremblay was right on me. So you're going to find, if you push it the way I'm pushing it, you're going to comfortably be in the lead um, with about half a lap left to go, but you can't lay back. Stay in the zone, stay hungry, stay fighting for it, because you got to really push that last corner. With all our upgrades, you can barely get enough speed to cross that start-finish line. Ah, the Brabham. I love the Brabham. That's one of my favorite cars. It's just an awesome handling car. It's super balanced. It's like the P1 GTR, the McLaren P1 GTR. Really balanced car, just so rewarding to drive it. Okay, so I'm in fourth, and you can see I gotta really widen this out. See, that gives me more time to build speed. Look, look how close this gets. So I was about 297 when I crossed the start-finish line. Pretty good. I'm trying to not waste a lot of off-track because there's a chance I'm spending a little bit of off-track on that last corner. You gotta watch your, uh, as you're going way over onto the shoulder, it's actually a drag strip, but you gotta watch it because you can end up going off track a little bit. Now, I'm gonna be gaining on this Bugatti extremely fast. He's gotta get on the brakes super early. I don't, and then, I'm, I know that's an Aston Martin up there. I'm not sure if it's a Vulcan or what it is. Um, I'm sure we can check that at the end of the race. I haven't been following that. I will catch these guys here because they're gonna over brake, and I'm gonna get a little bit aggressive with him. And there, see, I, I purposely stayed over to the right a little bit more. I was pinning him so that he had a bad entrance to the corner, so he would have to over brake. Okay, I'm only going to have one more car to go, but again, right now, it's time to think about the start-finish line. It's time to think about the last sweeping corner, way over to the left, and pushing those off-track limits. Wow, that was close. I think I just barely got the 295. Okay, I overtook Tremblay right pretty well at the beginning, right at corner one. I've got a whole lap to go, so why not take it easy? Why not lay back and then set up a speed run at the very last corner? Well, because my speed run is based on me entering that corner super aggressive. If I lay back now, I don't know where my throttle points are. The best thing I can do is take this as if I'm fighting for the lead. That's just the best thing I can do, is stay fighting. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be gapping Tremblay. I'm very happy that I'm uh, getting to beat a fellow Canadian for the lead. You know, usually we're facing famous names, like, you know, it's going to be Magnus or Ahmed or Zoe or something like that. So I love that there's a Canadian named Tremblay. Beautiful choice, guys. And no, I had nothing to do with that. That's just, that's what they did. Okay, so here we go. I'm thinking about that last corner. That's all I'm thinking about right now. Taking it wide. Tap on the brakes a bit. Really widen this out. And I'm feeling so nervous. There we go. I saw just 295 at the line. 
There we go, I'm very satisfied with that. I'm gonna show you my upgrades, all ones. So let's get to the profitability. I actually earned currency on this one. 175 gold positive, of almost $200. And that 44,340 fame, that's also worth gold. So really happy with how I've done in this one. If you liked this video, please press like, please subscribe if you haven't done so, and thank you so much for joining me. I hope this series helps you in earning your own Valkyrie. Here's a playlist link if you missed anything, there were some challenging stages.